assalamu alaikum everybody um, today we are going to talk about uh, another search and optimization algorithm which is called uh, local beam search okay previously we talked about um, simulated annealing uh, algorithm we have seen that simulated annealing and hill climbing were uh, single state search algorithms so at any given time they were keeping just one state in memory. This is an extreme overreaction to memory conservation problem, I think. So local beam search is the first parallel algorithm we are going to see. Well, parallel, uh, why we say parallel? Because it, it starts from K states, not just one state. So in local beam search, the general idea is this. We generate K random states and we keep track of k state instead of one so we start from k, k randomly selected states we determine all successor of k states okay so we generate um, the successor state of each state of the k states if any of the successor is a goal then we we are finished otherwise we select the k best from all the successor and repeat the previous step Okay, so in order to clarify this, uh, let me show you a pictorial description of this thing. So look at this slide, for example. So this is classical local beam search. As I said, we start the search from K randomly selected states. Problem can be any type of problem. So I'm not um, talking about the problem here. Rather, I'm just talking about the algorithm. Okay, so it can be eight queen problem or any type of problem that we have seen previously in the class okay so we start from k states s1 s2 sk minus 1 sk we have k uh, randomly selected states remember we pick k random states related to our problem okay so let's say each state has a branching factor of b so there are b number of offsprings that we can generate okay so what we do, we generate offsprings of all k states, okay? So we combine them into a pool like this, like uh, I have depicted over here. So from S1, we generate T1, T2. From S2, we generate maybe T3, T4, and so on. From SK, we generate Tc minus 1, Tc and so on each state that we generate from the initial random states each state has a fitness value for example t1 has a fitness value of 40 t2 has a fitness value of 10 tc minus 1 has a fitness value of 60 tc has a fitness value of 90 okay so if each state has a branching factor of b so how many states will be generated a total of c where c is equal to b into k if we have k states and each state can generate b of springs a total of b into k states will be generated okay so what's the idea algorithm is very simple very simple start from k states generate all the offsprings in this case b into k of springs with their fitness values and apply the goal test in on these c states if we find a goal configuration or a goal state in our pool i call this a pool okay so all the offspring that we generate from initial k random states this makes a pool of states okay so if we find a goal state that is fine if we do not find a goal state in our pool then black this thick arrow is the next step we repeat with k best states from the pool so pick k best states from the pool so for example if we have to pick three best states so we will pick t1 tc minus 1 and tc because their fitness values are 90 60 and 40 so we will pick k best states and repeat once again the same step so we will again start from k again generate a pool and again repeat this step until we we find a goal configuration okay so if we find a goal state in the pool we stop otherwise we repeat this step and algorithm continues until we find a goal step a goal state 
okay so at this point of time i would ask you to pause for let's say five minutes and think about what is going to be the problem with this kind of technique is it similar to hill climbing search think about it is it similar to random restart search or what kind of problem we can have with this is it equivalent to running k hill climbings in parallel or k random restart search in parallel because we are starting from random states remember we're starting from k random states so think about it pause for five minutes i would say and think about this how is it similar with with hill climbing with random restart hill climbing or is it different from random restart hill climbing okay i i think you you might have guessed what could be the problem so uh, for those of you who have not uh, been been able to guess the problem let me tell you through the state space so consider once again the search landscape that we i usually show you people so it's a 2d projection of the state space our state space actually is an n dimensional space so let's say we have a two dimensional projection if you carefully think about the algorithm and you notice if all the higher fitness states they fall into a region of local maxima so for example they fall in this region and low fitness states may be related to global maxima it is somewhere here so what is going to happen is all k states belonging to local maxima region will be selected and they will pick another k states neighboring state another k states another k states until you reach this local maxima state so what is the problem the problem is that the classical local beam search algorithm it suffers from from again the same problem of local maxima because sometimes because we always pick the k best states we always pick the k best states so what what can happen is that your search after executing a number of times may not have the required diversity of the state space such that your one of your state may point towards the global maxima so lack of diversity is the problem okay as i said said that it 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 can happen that all the more fit states may belong to the local maxima region and they will con start converging towards the local maxima region okay so the solution once again to this classical local beam search is again randomness or stochastic local beam search so in order to overcome this problem of once again the local maxima we have a stochastic version of local beam search so the idea is the same like local beam search stochastic local beam search uh, starts from again k randomly selected states from k randomly selected states we again generate a pool the way we did for classical local beam search in the pool all the states have these fitness value we again apply the goal check if we find our goal in the pool that is fine otherwise we repeat our search now the difference is in the repetition so we don't just repeat with the k best states in the pool rather we repeat with k states based on the selection probability which is based on the fitness okay so we compute a probability let's say we call it pi so this pi will determine the selection criteria of each state this pi depends on on the fitness value of the state in the pool now i once again will ask you to pause for five minutes and think about what this pi could be what could be the formula for this pi i said we are going to select states from this pool states from this pool so t1 will be selected based on a probability pi and that probability will be based on the fitness of t t1 
likewise t2 will be selected based on the probability we are going to compute this probability and it will be based on the fitness of t2 and so on up to tc so can you think of a formula for this you you may pause for five minutes and think about the formula but otherwise i'm going to show you the formula okay welcome back so uh, let me show you the formula how we, we are going to compute this okay so the formula is pi the fitness of state i will be equal to the fitness of that state so fitness of ti so let's say we, we want to compute the selection probability of t1 so it will be equal to the fitness of t1 divided by this is the total fitness so starting i starts from 1 to c all the states in the pool so we have c number of states remember we have c number of states in the pool starting from 1 we have c number of states so selection probability pi will be equal to the fitness of the state divided by the total fitness so as an example if we want to compute the selection probability of let's say the state t1 so this will be equal to the fitness of t1 which is 40 divided by the total fitness of the pool so let's assume that we have just four state in the states in the pool so let's say we have t1 t2 tc minus 1 and tc just four states in the pool so the total fitness of the pool will be 40 plus 10 which is 50 plus 60 110 plus 90 200 so total fitness of the pool is 200 and if we want to compute the probability selection probability of t1 that will be equal to 40 divided by 200 if you want to compute the selection probability of t2 that will be 10 divided by 200 likewise tc minus 1 will be 60 by 200 and the highest probability will be of state tc which will be 90 divided by 200 okay because tc has the highest fitness value in the pool so it will have the highest probability what does this mean this means so how this selection probability is going to solve the problem of local maxima so it is going to solve the problem of local maxima because you see t2 is a state with the lowest fitness value t2 might be a state that falls maybe maybe somewhere here okay so in the state space it, it falls somewhere here and t2 is a state that can lead towards the global maxima and now since there is a chance that t2 will be selected although its fitness is is 10 but it has a probability that t2 will be selected which is 10 by 200 okay so this this algorithm is going is not going to get stuck in the local maxima region but it, it, it can avoid the local maxima by using randomness which is based on the fitness of the states so this is the variant of local beam search which is called stochastic local beam search i hope you understood this if you have any questions uh, do write them to me and discuss them with me in the online session thank you very much thank you